Hey guys, so in celebration of Global 3D Printing Day, uh, a while back I did receive some filament from Rigid Ink. My friends over at Rigid Ink sent me some samples. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print with the yellow PLA Plus. Uh, this melts at a higher temperature than the standard PLA. It's supposed to melt between 230 and 240 degrees Celsius. So I'll be giving that a shot here in just a moment. Uh, this is on a, just a loose filament. So that's where my old spool that I printed a while back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spool it up on that. So it, uh, I won't have any problems with, with it hanging or anything. So I'll get spooled real quick and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so I have it spooled up there. I had it spooled on real nicely and then I let go of the end for just a moment and it kind of sprung back out. That's alright. It's still, it's all in, in line. It's not it's crossed over so it should be good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up the printer. I'm going to take my uh, Hatchbox PLA out of the nozzle, out of the extruder. And then I'll feed this in. And then I'm going to start kind of testing to see what uh, temperature I want to print at. And I'll show you the, the way I figure it out. Just kind of plan it by ear. Uh, and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, it didn't want to tame down. It ended up coming off my roll, so I just have it lay in there like that for now on, the, on there. It'll be fine. I'll figure out something later on. I honestly thought that was going to work, but it didn't. Okay, so anyway, what I do, uh, let me get zoomed in here a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you we're using the hatch box first. Like right now I'm sitting at 180 degrees Celsius. Now if I take the hatch box and feed a little bit through, you'll see it runs out pretty, pretty smooth. Actually right there it's running out a little bit too fast. So I know the temperature is too high for the hatch box. And if you take the temperature and turn it up, let me go ahead and turn it up to about 210. I believe that's where it was at the other day. I, I could really show you then how it, how it looks. See if I can get in there a little bit closer. Okay. See that's just oozing out of the nozzle. It's just right now even at 195 it's just way too hot. And then of course right now if I start pushing it through you'll see not yet but in a, once it reaches 210 it has like these kind of a I don't know if I can focus on it. It gets kind of this bubbly looking, like it's just, it's not smooth. It's not like it was when it was right here where it's nice and smooth coming out at the lower temperature. As the temperature went up, it just started getting rougher and rougher feeling. So you know that then it's just too hot. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use now use the yellow PLA, and we'll try to figure out what the temperature is going to be. So what I'm going to do to remove my PLA without jamming in the nozzle throat is I'm going to push some a little bit through and then pull right back out. And then that it comes out cleanly and it should be a nice clean nozzle throat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my PLA, I'm going to cut it at an angle. That way it makes it a lot easier to feed. And as you can see it came out. It pressed the rest of it out. By the way, I'm not touching the nozzle. I'm just grabbing the filament. And it's actually extruding at 210. It's actually extruding pretty nice at 210. It's not bubbly. I wish this would focus right. It's not bubbly at all. It's very smooth. And see how it's starting to ooze out the nozzle? So actually the temperature right there at 210, if I take it all the way up to 230 like it's calling for, I'm going to be a little bit worried about printing at that temperature. So I'm actually going to act, turn it down. Actually, I'm going to leave it at about 210. Yeah, I think 210 is going to be about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set for a time lapse. And what I'm going to print today is a Pikachu. And see how it turns out. I'll see you in just a moment.
So as you can see, even turning the temperature down as low as I did, it still the ear didn't turn out quite so nice. I can pull this off. This is pretty easy pulled off. It's not bad. There's some more stringing here on the back side of it. I do have to admit that this PLA is a little bit different than what I'm used to. Uh, most of the time when I extrude it, it uh, whenever you let go and when you're not pushing it through the extruder, you see it just kind of it'll come out and it'll stop and then you just see it kind of ooze. This one when it was extruding, it actually would come out and then retract on its own and it actually turned out uh, thicker than when it came out the nozzle. So that's kind of a weird... <laughs> i just never seen the PLA quite do like that before. I think I'm going to go ahead and try this one more time. I'll set everything back up. Let print. I'm going to turn down the temperature about uh, 5 degrees and see if that prints any better. All in all though, it actually turned out alright. Uh, the airlines look good. It's just back here where it uh, it's going between the tail and the back of it. You can see where it it uh, oozes a little bit. Same way between the ears. What's got me kind of bothered is how that point turned out. So I'm going to try it one more time. Turn down the temperature just a little bit and see if that helps it. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so this is the second one that printed. Uh, I did turn down the temperature on it and actually went down to 200 degrees on it that time and it still has the same melting problem up here on the on the ear. Uh, strings a little bit less but still there. All in all though, it's, it, the, the, this PLA seems to print pretty good. It seems to take on more of a characteristic of ABS or something, this, the way it melts and everything. Um, I've never actually printed with ABS, but I've seen a lot of prints that were printed with it. And it kind of takes on that property to it. The one thing that I find really weird about it is whenever I manually extrude it out the, out of the extruder in order to uh, prime it, it'll extrude you know, the th regular th the thickness, but then whenever you pause, it thickens up. It's like it retracts back to itself and it thickens up to about double the thickness. I mean, on average, this is what usually ex extrudes out of the 0.4 nozzle. You know, it stays pretty uniform all the way down. But this stuff, whenever you pause the, you know, when you're extruding it, and then you, you just let pause for a moment, it does <laughs> where it thickens back up. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Anyway, I got uh, a little bit left of the yellow. I'll, I'll use it for something. I got some blue I'll try, and... One thing I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out is going to be the um, the PETG that they sent. They did send me a roll of that. I'm going to give that you know a sample of it. I'll give that a shot too and see how it works out. But I'm somewhat happy. I just I don't know about that. It might be just the cooling on the the fan not able to handle it. But it's just weird how it printed that ear just fine, but not this ear. So I don't know. I'll uh, play with it some more. Apparently, as far as settings go, it's not going to be a setting issue. It's going to be either my cooling fan isn't quite doing the, the task or something that direction. I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep playing with it. Anyway, this was for uh, Global 3D Printing Day. Uh, I figure, how much global can you get? I'm using filament from the UK on a printer that's made in China with a model that was originally created in uh, Japan but the actual designer of this model is in Paris France so <laughs> you can't get more glo global than that right <laughs> well guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one hey guys that's gonna do it for this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe I sure appreciate it 
You can do that by clicking on the link over here. And if you'd like to help out the channel, please check out my Patreon page. You can find the link to that right over here. And if you'd like to take and watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I hope you love them. Yeah, I think you'll like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.